Foods Adventure coming to you from the Food and Wine Festival 2019. Standing right in front of Spaceship Earth, a lot of changes are about to happen. Yesterday, Club Pool closed and Innovations. I was supposed to be here, but I fell off on the roof. So, do what you can, right? So, we're going to check out some food, check out some fun, and we'll see you inside. So this is just the start of the construction. These are the last of the monoliths that leave a legacy. And the fountain up front, already gone. Once we get inside, we'll see if the walls are up around Club Cool or not yet. Epcot as a whole is about to get an entire facelift. In my opinion, for the better, but I'm very sad that I missed the closing of Club Cool. Well, it's not all for nothing. So speaking to a cast member, the fountain officially goes down tonight after closing. The walls will come up and they'll start disassembling. It was a nice time, Fountain Nations. Unlike the fountain though, you can see from the outside, all the club cool signs have been taken down. Falling off that roof made us one single day late to catch the closing. There's signs on all the doors telling you about the changes coming to Epcot. Didn't get to say goodbye to Bybo, to Fanta Pineapple. He misses his Fanta Pineapple. We didn't get, well, the Beverly. Yeah, I'm glad that's gone. Okay, so we're here at Club Cool. About to try the beverage, and here it's the worst drink there is. Yes. Oh, that's so okay. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, it's terrible. In honor of Club Cool going away very soon, we have to try the Beverly one last time. And we're making Emerson do the Beverly one more time. Emerson, get back here. Ready, buddy? On three. One, two, three. casualty the Fountain View Starbucks now I'm a Dunkin guy myself but I know how many people enjoy Starbucks unlike Club Cool that we are unsure of the future of the Starbucks will return in some way but for right now times and conditions change thanks Walt the character meet and greet spot that used to have Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy is gone. But oddly, they kept the character spot with Bayer Max, Joy, and Sadness. I mean, I'm not upset because they are great meet and greets, but it's just weird to take out the big three. Well, if I would have waited just a little longer, I would have seen that the character spot has just moved where Ralph and Vanellope used to be. Interesting. It's just a temporary move, but at least they're still here. So the first thing we got was the mac and cheese, the loaded mac and cheese. I've heard this is one of the better things of the festival, so we're going to try it right now. Mm. It was not what I was expecting, but very good. Very cheesy, a little bit of spice, but very good. Thumbs up, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Very good start, very good start. We just finished the loaded mac and cheese. And after finished it, I'm raising my score. I give that easily a nine. A little bit of spice, just kind of gets you in the front of the mouth. But even little man was able to eat it and he normally doesn't like spicy stuff. So the flavor is definitely there. It's like a smoky cheese. Uh, bacon, I didn't taste as much as I thought I would, but the breading, the mac and cheese, delicious. Highly recommend the bacon mac and cheese from Active Eats. Very good start. Our next stop on our food adventure 
is the Chocolate Studio. Specifically, the Liquid Nitro Chocolate Almond Truffle for this guy right here to try. I'm gonna try some too, but should be good. Just kidding. Um, the chocolate truffle. Frozen truffle. Frozen truffle. All right, dig in, bud. See how you like it. Good. What does it taste like? It tastes like like chocolate ice cream, but frozen, dipped in caramel. All right. So this is the nitro frozen chocolate almond truffle. Now I get to try it. Looks good. A little weird how they made it. I'll add that to the video. Very smooth, very creamy, with a caramel on top. Delicious. So far, this is my best dessert I've had, except for the maple bacon funnel cake that was here last year that sadly is gone. So, highly recommend this one. As we delve deeper into the UK pavilion, this is going to change into the future home of the Mary Poppins ride and of the Mary Poppins neighborhood. Oh, and Alice is down there. Long line though. So we'll go down the rabbit hole some other time. But all this is about to change, just like most of the rest of Epcot. Now going over the bridge to France, and you can see the scaffolding work for Rat Tatui opens from what I understand March of next year. Very excited for this ride. It's going to be a trackless ride. Another clone, much like Tron is in Magic Kingdom. Only instead of a clone of a ride in Shanghai, we're getting a clone of a ride from, well, Disneyland Paris. Can't wait to ride it. So in France, it all sounds good. I think my buddy would like an escargot. You want an escargot? You know what that is? Escargot, snail. No, okay, I guess I guess that's a no. So change of plans. He says he wants to try creme brulee, and I can't argue because I've never had a creme brulee. So we're both gonna try it in France. How's that sound, bud? Is it good? I would give that a 9 out of 10. That good, huh? What's it taste like? It tastes like ice cream. Really? But with Nutella on it. Okay. Pretty good though? Okay. Alright, so I'm going to try this creme brulee too. Okay. Reminds me of bread pudding. The chocolate Nutella comes through, or hazelnut, chocolate hazelnut spread. Not bad. I wouldn't score it as high as he did. Um, give it about a seven. It's solid, just not something I enjoy. Final thoughts on the creme brulee. Decent. I don't mind it. It's just, it's more like a jello or a pudding. And that's just not for me, so I, I stick with my seven out of ten. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not for me. This guy, on the other hand, what do you think of it? I gave it a 9 out of 9. 9 out of 10? So between the two, the creme brulee or the nitro chocolate truffle, which do you choose? Nitro chocolate truffle. 
Okay, so the truffle's still the one to beat dessert-wise. I prefer that much better, but this isn't a bad choice if you like creme brulee, so give it a shot. Well, we made it halfway around World Showcase. It's just getting a bit too uncomfortably hot, so we think we're gonna head on the Friendship across the Seven Seas Lagoon. Of course, hit Spaceship Earth before leaving. And then come back and try more food and wine pretty soon. We might be back next weekend. Bring the wife. But right now, it's just too hot. I need a drink. And I need some Dame Judy Dench. And we thank you for watching. What better place to say not only goodbye to all of you guys, but goodbye to this entire section of Epcot. Next time we come here, it's going to look entirely different. I am slightly worried about the amount of walls because if you look at the blueprints online, the walls are going to go all the way up to the end of the fountain here and all the way across here as they begin the disassembly process and getting ready to build the new Epcot Center. So we're going to go off and ride one of my buddy's favorite rides, Spaceship Earth. For me and for Emerson, that's going to do it for us here today at Epcot. If you like what you're watching, click that subscribe button right underneath us. And ring that little bell. Ring the bell, like you said. All right, you guys have a great day. If you get the food and wine, try some of the stuff we recommended. It was really good today, and we will be back to try some more. So. See you real soon.